morning everybody this is sangeeta sitsena with chief of bureau chatali bag we are at the paris air show this is day one at the show and it's been a day for india and uh, you know it's raining contracts one after the other and at the moment we have with us we are the de havilland pavilion at uh, you know it's a canadian based company a big aerospace name and we have with us yogesh garg director sales for asia pack and he's based out of india and he will tell us let us hear it from the host hi we are we are very excited for today it being the first day of paris air show and there are a lot of orders we have announced we have announced earlier 10 firm orders with jetcraft and now we are here with the uh, indian company flybig so flybig just signed uh, two firm agreement for a twin otter 400 series and letter of intent for 10 aircraft for uh, our newly launched twin otter 300g so we are very excited and indian being a very one of the biggest market and we are uh, this is the first operator for 400 series in india we are very excited to have our first launch operator in india and we are looking forward to get more and more orders from indian aviation market and you can sure this came as a surprise to all of us but then i'm sure it must have been going on as a market do you see the scope for the aircraft in india apart from the current order yeah yeah definitely if you remember the rcs the uran the 4.2 which talks about uh, 19 seat aircraft so this is the only aircraft in the world i am proud to say that which is a twin engine 19 seat which can the most versatile aircraft it can land on water it can land on land it can be an amphibian aircraft it's a right aircraft fit for the indian market to support the uran so with the uh, with the growing of uran schemes in india we are looking for more aircraft in india like we are discussing with different governments gujarat governments kerala governments where they want to have a amphibious aircraft or they want to have a water uh, like a sea plane so that will serve this purpose the same aircraft you can convert into a land plane or a sea plane or an amphibian just you have to change the landing gear so it's a very versatile aircraft so definitely there's a lot of uh, future for this aircraft in india and our our government is very keen for the last mile connectivity where we don't have unpaved runways or we have very small strips so this aircraft would be perfect fit for all the um, hilly regions or uh, unpaved runways or a uh, tier 3 or tier 4 cities where they want to connect right and uh, in addition to this uh, when you talk of amphib amphibious aircraft there could be a great order coming from the military so because the need of the military at the moment though we do not have them but it could be a pitch to the you know navy and the coast guard De definitely that's a that's a great thought and uh, worldwide we have lot of orders with militaries and with the coast guards where they use this aircraft for search and rescue purpose and uh, we have guardian if you see the aircraft guardian that's a military version of the same aircraft and it has a high higher the take off weight all of it and it can land straight near the ship where they want to do a, a rescue or where they want to intercept and it can help them them to do a surveillance also it has a long range for 9 hours endurance where it can do a low speed and a low altitude surveillance so definitely uh, i take your thought and uh, we should be more focusing on um, on coast guards and on the government projects also right now our focus was not there but definitely that's a food for thought and we would be looking into it and under the regional connectivity like you said uran is a very major project of the government of india and it, um, under it you know you have areas which are absolute mountainous terrains now there you don't have land and big runways and things like so how would the uh, plane help there that's, that's a very good that's a very good question so if you if you heard about uh, nepal Luk lukla airport that's one of the most difficult airfield in the world at an altitude of around 12000 or 14000 feet with a slope of 15 degrees and a 400 meters runway so this aircraft performs well in 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 that environment also so definitely this aircraft being a stall aircraft which means a short takeoff and landing so it can address all the mountainous regions where we don't have a longer runways or it's in a high altitude this aircraft will be perfect fit for that so have you uh, uh, been in touch with the governments in the northeast where such sort of a requirement could be very great or the governments in the north of india uh, in the kashmir in the himalayan region so so we are working with currently operators who are in touch with the governments in northeast like flybig 
uh, have some plans to operate the aircraft in Northeast. So we have done some initial studies and uh, we are proud to say that we, there is no load penalties on such airports and they are able to connect with the uh, different airports. And once the aircraft come to India, UK, in that case, what happens to the MRO activity? So this is a very simple and simplified aircraft. You can do all the maintenance in-house. It's, it's a very simple aircraft. It's a 1970 design, yet modern design on it. But you can do all your maintenance in-house. So Flybig is planning to have their own MRO to support it. And Air Deccan used to support this aircraft in the past. So we already have the facilities in India. And um, the, it is powered by PT6 engine, which you will find on all the regional aircraft. Okay. Uh, all the small aircraft, whether it's King Air, so you'll find it. So there is already... A, a footprint of this kind of support system in India, so there will not be a challenge when you introduce uh, to North in India. Right. I think you know when we speak with you next, and you have more orders and more you know companies which are bought it. I think there will be lots more to talk about. Congratulations again. It was wonderful speaking with you, and I really wish all the best. It's going to be a great uh, collaboration with India, where India is looking forward to these sort of things. So let's hope and let's it's all the best to you. Thank you, thank you very much. And we are also looking forward to have our major footprint in India and being one of the biggest market for us for the right. Thank you, thank you very much.